Today we figure out if you'd rather have a booster box or loose packs. What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today we'll be opening a booster box of Cross Souls and then we'll be opening 24 packs of Darkwing Blast. You might ask, that's kind of random stuff. Why are we doing this? You saw the intro. I wanna find out if you're gonna pull more foils or high rarity cards out of loose packs or out of a booster box. So these are actually different eras and stuff like that. But we always talk about this with blister packs and loose packs. They're more fun to open because you don't know what you're gonna get. Are you gonna get more foils? You might get less foils. You don't have a set ratio like you do in a booster box. So we're gonna find out today, would we rather have a Cross Souls box or Darkwing Blast 24 packs of loose packs. And I wanna shout out Team Sakurasu. He sent me this Cross Souls booster box. He wanted me to shout out his channel. He does market watch, new set release videos where like they're leaked, like the Starlight Exodia and stuff like that. He does videos about that and discussion videos. So all that kind of stuff is on his channel. It will be linked in the description. Go check it out. Thank him for uh, sending us this booster box. If it has a ghost share, you gotta thank him twice. We said that right now. So let's get right into it. We do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away, I think this is 12 packs of Darkwing Blast. So if we pull something amazing here, you have your own chance on the giveaway. So like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let's hop into it. Let's see which is better, the Cross Souls booster box or the Loose Pack booster box. All right, let's crack this box open and uh, let's make our sealed booster box into loose packs, even though they're really not loose packs because they came from a sealed box. So let's see which will win. Let me know in the comments which you think is gonna win. We're going based on number of foils, not value, because value is it's a lot different based on the newer set versus like an older set. It could, you know, it's all over the place, but we will have a value counter up just for fun. 48 pack opening today. Let's see what we can get. Dark Wing Blast. Let's see if we can pull. I mean, we know there's big ultra and big super in the set. So that's why I'm opening more of this just because there's a lot of value potential and I had some more loose packs laying around. So I figured we might as well do it to your element's heartbeat. We got the catalyzer, hot rod, and we pulled, ooh, an ultra rare right off the bat. That is onto our foil counter. Very nice. We have a Vera. So yeah, we've had great luck with Darkwing Blast. If you guys didn't see the video with Simo, make sure you guys go watch that one. That one was insane. It was absolutely amazing in terms of value, um, in terms of what we pulled. So we have a Super Heavy Samurai Big Oraji. We've got the Rival Rebounder. Phantom Griffin, very cool. The Osenju Kodam, Abyss Stungray, also very nice. The Super Heavy Samurai, Dice Versity, Edge Imp Saw, and Raid Raptor, a Revolution Falcon. Yeah, so there are no guaranteed foils in this because this is an older box, which is always fun when you're not guaranteed a foil. But Darkwing Blast, of course you are, because it's a very new set. Two sets ago, I believe. No, three sets at this point. Wow, there's been three sets since Darkwing Blast. That's crazy. We've got the Maiden of the Aqua reprint, Tabari. They've been really hammering out the sets this year, it feels like. Lots of sets, but there's been a lot of good ones at the end of the year. Ogre, we got the Ninjutsu Art, the Showdown, Soul Scissors, and a Bestial Serenir. Not the Bestial we're looking for. Doesn't count as a foil because it's guaranteed. All right, so we've started off with one Ultra so far. Not bad. Cross Souls. Make sure you guys do go check out Team Sakurasa. We have done a video from him before. I think we pulled like a... Wrong Patrick. There's a super rare unexpected die. This card was like a $10 super until it got a recent reprint. So it's probably only a couple bucks now, but that's still pretty good. Unexpected die. We got to remember uh, it's three from the back for these. And there's a Barbar. Melda Branch of the Burning Abyss. Yeah, Burning Abyss. Still playable. Not. Let's keep it going. Yeah, and as I was saying, check him out. Go give his, uh, you know, his most recent video a view. If you guys like it, then, you know, consider subscribing. Check him out, Frecky. Uh, and we always got to thank him for sending us stuff to open on video. I love when people do that because awesome content, free content. You guys know I love free content because I'm posting every day. A lot of videos. Oh, and I cast here a unicorn. Very nice. It's not the 60, but I think this one's around 20. So that's still a card right there. Very solid pull. We will take that. Awesome. Okay, cross souls. No, not the body buddies. You think he sent that on purpose? He sent the body buddies just so I'd have to open it. Zephyr core. All right, we get, we're going to have to see it again. Oh putrid pudding body buddies <laughs> this is a throwback because this is when we were opening a ton of this set and i saw this card so many times but that was like 2020 that was a long time ago zephyr edge i'm saw we've got a zephyr newbie secret of the yang zing and you'll send you a kodam all right no foil there that's okay the body buddies man what in the world all right let's keep it going so so far what it's one to one no it's two to two to one two to one we've pulled three foils already at least higher rarity cards i should say secret arts we've got oh blackwing sudri the phantom glimmer sudri sudri i don't know so that's three for darkwing blast in the random packs random packs really showing why we like them i don't know i know a lot of you guys will be rooting for the random packs because you guys like them as well fluffle sheep statue of anguish pattern that is a classic uh what's his name card the Trap Monsters. We got Fright for Factory, Doom Dog, Octhros. All right, Fright for Fusion, 
and Zephraxa, Flame Beast of the Necrols. All right, so there is pretty much a set number we're going to get from Cross Souls. I, there's like usually a variance of like one, you know, one different foil that you might be off by. The uh, loose packs, I mean, we pulled three already, but we could go completely dead and just pull zero, which would be unfortunate. Tyrellman's Scream, we got the Scareclaw Twin Saw. Oh, no! The Ruxin and Special, but look, we pulled the same Ultra. That shows you how, like, it's just completely random. You might get the same stuff, you might get different stuff. All right, four foils on that side. It is looking good for the loose packs. Cross Souls, come on. You can do this. The only foil we pulled I accidentally put right to the front. Here we go. Super Every Samurai, Soul Buster, Gauntlet. That's a short name. You'll send you Whirlwind, Sharp Lanius, Doom Dog Octhros, Mimicry Lanius. Guys, I remember these cards so much from when I played them in Auction Series. Rip. Uh, Dreadnought Dunker. We got the Osenju Oyam. This was in uh, in Duel Links. It came out in the Pendulum. It was one of the first ones. Despot 004. Yeah, and then uh, that card was really annoying because it's like a hand trap. And when they attack directly, they just comes out of your hand and becomes the like same number as that attacker in defense mode so you can't get over it the infernal queen salmon that's the terra king salmon's mother i guess all right we've got the sky ninja ninjutsu art of dancing leaf showdown soul skizzers iron digger and venus lift of the misting seedlings that's just a super rare nothing too crazy there all right all right we're gonna need something cross souls just pull a ghost and you'll win like beat by default sharp lanius even though we'll probably pull more uh, from the other one who knows uh, at least at this rate we've got the magma dragon Cybernetic Fusion Support. We got the uh, Bow Hopper. Nice. Rank of Magic Revolution Force. Oh, and an Ultimate Rare Necroz of Sophia. That's a first edition Ultimate Rare. You'll love to see that. Necroz of Sophia, if you're a Necroz player, you know. You guys remember, might remember this. I don't know if it's act, it was actually in the deck or not, but I know it is a Necroz card, obviously, because it says it on the card. Let's keep going. You guys know I'm a professional when it comes to what was played in the meta a long time ago. All right, let's go. Let's see. Celestia Apparatus. Ritual Prediction. Kagero. With a Grief. Heartbeat. Godi Cosmos. Amazon Secret Arts. Spiritualism. Blackwing. Bora Storm. The Wicked Wind. All right. Cross Souls. Already got an Ultimate Rare. Pretty good. So we have two over there and then four on the other side. So it's a, a big lead for Darkwing Blast, even if that Ultimate Rare. We got the Rival Rebounder. Edge and Saw. Primitive Butterfly. Pinch Helper. Stungray. Virtual Beast. And Teller Knight. Prometheus. No, 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 no. There's no, there's no P. There's no way. It's got to be uh, Ptolemaeus. There we go. We fixed it. We fixed it. I know I said Prometheus. That is definitely not right. All right. That is definitely not right. All right. Is what I just said. <laughs> Let's keep it up. That's four to three now. We're getting close. They're making a comeback. We have the uh, Tobari, the Sky Ninja. Tessia, Psychic Rover, Golden Whip Master, Castira Ogre, Decisive Battle of Golgonda, Mole Cricket. We got the Secret Arts. And Rex Fright for higher. I was going to say very nice, but it is not. It is not very nice. Cross Souls making a comeback. I feel a lot of the Cross Souls packs have a bent corner back there. Here we go. Despot 0 Did Team Sakurasu send us a ghost rare in this box? We're going to have to find out today. Soprano. Melodious Illusion. Melody of the Awakening Dragon. Very cool card. You know, for them blue eyes. Don't worry. This was a big super rare as well, but it did get, you know, a couple of reprints. Legendary Collection Kaiba, I think, has a secret rare, which is obviously a cooler rarity, but, well, I say that. A lot of people like supers, but, yeah, I'd still say secret's probably a little better. All right, Naturia, Bamboo Sword, Naturia Blessing, Silent Wolf, the Hot Rod. We've got Ninjutsu Art of Dancing Leaves, Zonda the Dusk, Tri Brigade Showdown, and Donner, Dagger for Hire. So there's another for Hire card, so I guess that's where they added those. I am a for Hire fan. I do like those cards because back in the day and dual links of course you guys know that's the only meta experience i have basically i did play those in one of the kc cups did pretty well the perform power recasting my best uh you know dual links performance i guess gig gloves body buddies necros zephra moon mirror shield they'll send you kudam very nice all right a lot of packs to go actually this might be kind of a longer video i didn't think it would take as long but then i remember the last time i did 48 packs it was the battle set which is new and only has five cards in each pack so that actually does make a difference between nine nine actually takes quite a bit longer uh brandon regained very nice we might be looking at a over 20 minute video which a lot of you guys love a lot of you guys really like the longer videos you say you, i need to do more so here you go let's go it's actually tied up right now in terms of foils too it's four to four i thought it was over early i thought they put them away we got the pinch helper and raid raptor blaze falcon what is the next oh and bigger baraji all right Let's see what we can do with the Darkwing Blast. Will it be a Starlight? Amazon is Golden Whip, Camellia. Or we could just take, you know, Lubellion. We could take the, uh, whatever it's called, Kashtira. Um, I already, I just forgot Fenrir. There we go. Blackwing, Chinook. I would take either of those. Those would be very nice. I would even take the Magma Hut, Magma Hoot, Magma Hut, whatever you call it. That thing's like 15 bucks or something. 
sheep. We've got the Yosin Village. We've got the Perform Pal Bow Hopper. Signing Deal. Spring Goose. Tamer. Suture Rebirth. Suture? Interesting. And Infernoid Shadit. I feel like it's just Jet, but they have a lot of silent letters, it feels like, in Cross Souls. I, I feel like they're silent. I'm not totally sure, because I'm not super familiar with those cards. Twin Shadow. Bamboo Sword. Curse of Aramateer. Yosoro. We got the Cucumber Horse. We got the Catalyzer. Full Bloom. Open of the Goatee and Branded Beast. Wow, we are on a cold streak right now. Big time cold streak. We're almost halfway through, though. So we are, we're getting there. One, two, three. Don't forget to do three. We've got the uh, Kodom, Pendulum Rising, Recasting, Mimicry, Lanius, Fright for Factory, Dreadnought, Dunker, Melodious, Rank Up, Magic Revolution Force, and Dizzing Winds of the Yojin Village. The Village, like Naruto. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. It's time to pull something Blackwing. Oh, I messed up the oh, I messed up the pack trick. I did five by accident. All right, well, that wasn't anything good anyway. If it was a Starlight... I'd be a little mad, but also very excited because of Starlight. <laughs> Here's the last pack on the right side for Cross Souls. So that means probably gonna probably gonna pull. Uh, not not that we're probably gonna pull something, but we're almost halfway done. I don't know why I was gonna say we were gonna pull something, but it doesn't mean that. Except for Naga, Fried for Fried for Chimera, Fried for Sheep. All right, well I guess we did pull something. That's five foils on one side. I didn't even mix those up. Five foils on one side. Interesting. All right, Fried for Sheep. That's a good card. So uh, the box is winning. Five foils versus four. I mean, Darkwing Blast started off with like three in the first three or four packs. Has only pulled one since. So let's see if we can do it right here. Silver Sword, Scream, Twin Saw, Tilted Entrainment, and Mariologic Aggregator. Cross Souls. You are overachieving right now. You're doing really well. So now we need a Secret Rare and a Ghost Rare. Let's go. One, two, three. Believe in the heart of the cards. We have Fiend Griefing, UA Penalty Box, Sharp Lanius, Swordmaster of Necros, Bow Hopper. Zephyr Naga, Fright for Factory, Junk Anchor, and Pendulum Rising. Just a regular common. Okay, it's not over yet. There's a lot of packs to go. You have to believe in the Darkwing Blast. It will pull the Fenrir. Let's go. Or the Lubellion. Have we pulled a secret yet? We haven't pulled a secret yet out of here. Interesting. Golgonda. That just sounds like something from Black Panther. I don't know why. And Ninjutsu Art Notebook of Mystery. This is technically an ultra rare. Um, I mean, it is an ultra, not technically, but it's not a good card. Ninjutsu stuff, not exactly valuable. That's, that's you know, that's the, the dirt on that. So, sorry, ninjutsu stuff. Didn't mean to roast you like that. Big Baraji, Fluffle Sheep. Fluffle and Fright for Sheep, they're almost the same. All right, Samurai, Soul Buster, Bow Hopper, Signing Deal, Spring Goose, Zep Ramp... Zep... Zep... Zep Ramplica? There we go. Void Purification. And... Oh! <laughs> There's the secret rare. It's the same as the ultimate rare. So we get the same secret and ultimate in the box. Necroz of Sophia. That's pretty cool. So that means theoretically you could probably pull the ghost secret and ulti of the same, you know, clear wing synchro dragon or whatever it's called in the same box. That would be a nutty box. All right, that's another foil. So that's, what is it, 6-5? It's foil central out here. Everyone's pulling them. It's crazy. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. Amazon is bamboo sword. We got the whip master. Scareclaw decline. Spiritualist. War Chief, Kyoto Spirit. We've got the Sword Master and a Sprite Double Cross. No big deal. What are we gonna get this time? One, two, three. We got three from the back. Will it be a Ghost Rare? Despot 004, Jet, Lizard Draw, Imp Saw, Signing Deal, Spring Goose, Primitive Butterfly, Melodious Illusion, and Zephra Divine Strike. That's a super. Not too great, I guess. Pretty average. Darkwing Blast. One, two, three, four. Come on. We have Curse of Aramateer. Bayrock Dragon, Camellia, Noodle Inversion, Tilting Entrainment, Secret Arts, Decisive Battle of Golgonda, Zonda. We've got Venus Left of the Misting Seedlings. Okay, eh, all right. All right, okay. Big Ghost Rare right here to put it away. Let's see, Secret and Ultimate in this box, pretty solid. Definitely a decent box sent to us by Team Sakurasu. Separate Path, once again, check them out. Fright for and a ball bar 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 is this the only burning abyss card we pulled it twice pendulum rising okay back to dark wing blast they're gonna need something because they're down six five right now in terms of foils six to five oh one two three four and uh something big would be nice finra we'll take it tear elements grief puffin ritual prediction secret arts tainted hot rod we got the dancing leaves zana the dust and a goatee a fury very cool goatee fury let's see crossed souls Doom Dog Octhros right at the front. You gotta believe in the Doom Dog. I don't know why we're believing that. Oh, I messed it up again! Another mess up. Bloom Diva, the Melodious Choir. This is the most foils to the front I've done in a long time. But hey, that's number seven, I think. Bloom Diva, I hate Melodious, but there we go. 
It's a card. Is Edge of Chain is in here as a common. It just got the reprint. Otherwise, that would probably be like a $4 common. But just got the reprint. Why right as we open the box? All right. Big lead now for Cross Souls going into the last few packs. What is going to happen here? Is, are they going to be able to pull something? All they need, the no secrets. It's been all ultras so far. Curse of Aramid's here. The Bayrock Dragon, War Chief, Goaty Cosmos, Full Bloom, Cucumber Horse, and Baku the Beast Ninja. Wow. This might be an upset, which I mean, we know it's random packs, so it can be good or it can be bad, but we still had this expectation, I feel like, that it was going to be better. You know, we always feel like, oh, there's Lizard Draw, pretty good. Doom Dog, Octos. We always feel like the loose packs are going to be better. That's why it's so fun. Suture Rebirth and Pendulum Rising, even though you know in the back of your mind that if some are better, some are probably worse. That's just how it goes. And we might have gotten the worst right now. Let's see. Cross Souls, you got to believe. Fiend Grieving. Let's go. Thunder Rhino. If you've been believing, it's been working. Bow Hopper. Donker, Mimicry Lanius, the Factory. We've got the Zephyr Windy and the Performer Power recasting. They're leaving the door open. There's still a chance for the Darkwing Blast to come back and make this a game. Here we go. Darkwing Blast. Four from the back. Let's not ruin it. Secret Rare Lubelion. There's the Terror King, Salmon's brother. We've got the Heartbeat, or did I say the Mother? I don't remember. Spirit, Catalyzer, Iron Digger, the Bistial Druus Worm. Pretty good card for a super. Not the huge one, but pretty decent. Doesn't actually count. Good for the value, but where's the magma? Where is it? That thing is crazy. That's the big money. Can't cross souls put this away officially. Here we go. Edge M Chain would have been good if we hadn't reprinted it recently. Bow Hopper, Zephyr Naga, Fright for Factory, Spring Goose. We've got a Moon Mirror Shield, and we've got a Harpy Harpist. There's another foil. Super rare, and this is actually a pretty good card. Didn't realize this was such an old card. That's eight. To five for Cross Souls. We are down to the last four packs. They need to go four for four to even have a chance of winning. I mean, tying it, three out of four. I mean, this is going to be real tough. We need something big. Camellia, Noodle Inversion, Black Shadow Squall, Naturia Blessing, Tilting Entrainment, Castira Ogre, Decisive Battle. We've got Naturia Mole Cricket and, ooh, amazing, the Battle Ninja. There it is. They're fighting back. Let me make sure I've counted right. We have one two three four five six ultra rares and no or well, we have supers but no secrets that is insane so it's eight to six now they are not completely out i just threw that pack if you guys remember we started three for four if we end three for four they've got a chance that would be crazy one two three they could come back in an epic way phantom griffin he'll send you kodom the lizard draw soprano design frightful Design Fright Fur, not full. Okay, Magma Dragon, the Cybernetic Fusion, the Performa Pal Elf Hammer, and Rival Rebounder. It's not over. A little basketball action. Three packs to go. Down by two scores. One, two, three, four. They need one right here. They have Psychic Rover, Tier Elements Grief, Augusta. Will this be the comeback? Ermatier, Scream. We've got the Twin Saw. This is it. The Entrainment. We have Tier Elements Heartbeat, and a... Hey, Rex Freight for Hire. Uh-oh, they needed that one. Okay. Any foil pulled by Cross Souls officially wins the battle of number of foils. One single foil can end it. Form of Power Recasting, Fiend Grieving, Make It the Ghost Shirt to end it. Thunder Rhino, UA Signing Deal, Spring Goose, Primitive Butterfly. We've got Zephyr Saber and... Next one, Blaze Falcon and... Oh, Lizard Draw, it's door still open. But this has to be a foil. Can the drama continue? Will we pull a foil right here to keep them alive? Third to last pack, Salmon, Pendulum, Shadow Squall, Scareclaw Decline, Preparations, Omen of the Goatee. We have Tier Elements Heartbeat, Zer Zephyrmander, Sal, I just said that wrong, Catalyzer, all right. And we have a Donner Dagger for Hire, and that's gonna do it, everyone. That should be the end. That means Cross Soul is just taking a victory lap right now. This should be a foil, Statue of Anguish. Fluffle Crane, Super Every Samurai, Big Uraji, Pinch Helper, Chosen of Zephyr, Zephyr Naga, Zephyr Path, the Schuberta of the Melodious Maestra, and Fluffle Sheep. Okay, the door was open officially. Will they just make it painfully close by pulling one right here? Could still be a Fenrir, could still be a Lubelion. Let's see, could be something crazy. Blackwing Twin Shadow, Camellia, Kalupo, Cannon Ninja, Goaty Cosmos, Secret Arts, Spiritualist, Decisive Battle of Golgonda, and... Last pack, Fenrir, it was painfully close, and I guarantee that this one won in terms of value, too. So it was seven ultra rares, no secret rares, and then a super, and an ice druid swarm. This is probably worth way more than the Cross Souls box, but yet they only pulled seven foils. Now that was quite the video. That was a lot of fun. Team Sakurasu, thanks again for sitting in this Cross Souls box. It was a lot of fun to open. It was actually a pretty good box with a secret and an ultimate, so I really enjoyed opening. Make sure you guys go check him out. Link in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more epic content.
Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.